Inner Vision, taking you to a new level of Christian radio. www.innervisionrecords.org, the official website of Inner Vision. Send us feedback, requests. Help spread the word about local musicians. We are Inner FM. Hey, welcome to another Inner Vision FM. And uh, on this show, we're going to do some... Uh, uh, spiritual uh, talk concerning uh, the uh, coronavirus and, and just some other things that are going on and we're going to talk uh, to try to, to just soothe the souls and we're going to interlude uh, some of our, our artists in, in uh, this song, in this um, show as well. So we, we appreciate you being there. Uh, if you have any comments, we want you to give us a call at 720 720- Three two four seven two seven eight. That's seven two zero three two four seven two seven eight. And on this morning show, I, I have uh, Cheryl Rose, uh, as a, as a spiritual guide, and and um, Cheryl, t- tell us a, a little bit about your 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 YouTube channel uh, for the listeners who who might not have, have heard the last uh, interviews that I did with you. Wonderful, uh, Cheryl Rose. It's great to be back with you, Johnny. And uh, how happy I am to let the listeners know that I have a YouTube channel called Cheryl Rose Spirit Guidance. And I created it last year, 70 videos on not only uh, what I do as a uh, spiritual guide, psychic, clairvoyant, medium. I also talk about God, spirituality, and positive thinking, how to manifest and make your life better, get ahead despite any circumstance that you might have had uh, as a youngster or a teen or as an adult. And as an adult, uh, we're facing a lot of different situations and the videos are timeless and they uh, can certainly be viewed on Twitter, on uh, the YouTube channel, and uh, Facebook, when Facebook does uh, come back to me, and a lot of people have to hit the subscribe button, and they will get one day a week a live session where they can call in for an hour, and I will take live question and answers, and they do not have to pay anything for this. It's my uh, gift going out to the public and teaching people and answering people's questions and helping them uh, guide them in the right direction. I never force them. I suggest and I predict. And over the years, I humbly say that the predictions have been very accurate because I work on myself with self-development and I connect to spirit on a daily basis. Which so, is, so you you expanded it because it was just going to be on just on Wednesday. So you expanded it to uh, five days a week now. Yes, and the response after I was on your broadcast uh, last week with the introduction was so overwhelming. The phone kept ringing and ringing, and I had private readings, but I also did some uh, question and answers. For people who were stuck with this uh, unfortunate pandemic, I said I have to just open up the lines and not talk about it, but talk directly to the people who are calling in, and it's anonymous, and I just answer the question and say this individual is from Minnesota and is panicking, and I guided them as a group. I said, all of you have the same situation. We must put our heads together and say the bottom line is faith. Attach yourself to faith. That's the first thing to rely on. If you don't have faith in your your God, you're not going to be able to stay stoic and make through this closures of schools and different situations now. Life is not the same suddenly, and it appears very scary to people. So I just started to talk live. 
And I, what, what I what I noticed, like it, this, has given us a chance to uh, get closer uh, uh, to each other. Um, you know, we have teachers that uh, teach our children. Now, now we can teach our children by a- example, so we can show them that when the when the when the times get hard, uh, the 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 tough get harder, and and how we can persevere and be a, a yeah. hero of of uh, any situation. Absolutely, and those words are so profound, it's perfectly stated, because we are older and gracefully older, but we have been through some tough times, and that experience and another experience and another experience has shown us how we can make it through any situation despite the odds. And the youngsters, even the teens and early 20s, are going to, thank goodness, look towards us as as you and I get closer, which is great. We share the same common goal, which is get closer to God. And how do we do that? We give it up to him. But they need to lean on us. And I want to provide that. You and I are providing them uh, the ability to lean. Like in Psalm 23, thy rod, thy staff, lean on me. Jesus was saying, lean on me. And that's what the young generation is missing. They don't realize that we have to lean on faith. And we've been doing that. And we are not masters at it, but we are experienced at it. And uh, it's like osmosis. One one leads to the next. And that, that's such a beautiful thing that we can do this. Right, I'm so happy. And, uh, and we're, we can lend lend what we know from Christ to others and help them because they are panicking. Yeah. And we can walk by by faith, not by sight. Uh, you can look around and yes. and understand that we don't rest against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in high places. And and sometimes uh, because we we say I I don't believe it unless I see it. And sometimes there's things mm-hmm. in the in the realm uh, you can't see this Ebola um, virus, but it's it's there. So there's other things oh, out yeah. there that you cannot see, but it's there. And Correct. so we have to learn how to to. Uh, you know, go by our gut feelings and go by our heart feelings, and and, and s- sometimes put aside the logic and say, what is the the rational way to, to deal with this? What is the loving way to deal with one another? Um, the, the the hoarding and all that stuff is not being loving; that's being selfish. And how can we be the opposite of of hoarding or or being selfish uh, in these times? Correct. And perfectly stated again, because by hoarding, we become evil, we become selfish, we become what we're not supposed to be. Uh, Panic sets in, and human beings go the opposite way. Uh, We are here to show this is panic. Okay, it's a scary situation, but lovingly, if we come together and put it up, give it up to God, your fears, give it up to him, you know, I buy food and your neighbor share, you know, if, if you get a a dozen eggs, maybe share those eggs with the neighbor, six, go to her. She might not be able to go out because she's afraid. You helped her eat the food that she didn't have. That's what God does. He, that's what Christ taught. You know, don't, don't, Stifle yourself and make yourself suffer in such a uh, cloistered way that you're isolating yourself. You become mean, cruel, and evil, and that's not what we need here. Now, in the great in the Great Depression back in the 30s, long before any of us were alive, um, mm-hmm. a, lo- a lot of people survived that, and they survived it by um, by each other. The churches, uh, there was no yes. big. Uh, government as there is today, people looking at government, do it, even though uh, FDR tried to, to do something governmental, and, and some reports said that if the government would have just stayed out of it, uh, it would have made the um, that term of uh, depression last at least eight years shorter. So people, government right. is not the answer. Uh, they would like to think they're the answer, but uh, spiritual uh, insight, um, uh, God and our faith 
and and knowing that peace within will do more for you than a government um, uh, giving you stuff that um, rather than your community uh, surrounding yourself with your community local community uh, and and bonding together with your local community yes and I, I pray for that local community all around this country and other countries uh, that these church communities can get together and see what's happening here and I'm giving you some predictions right now this is a virus that is going to be contained and controlled and and, and, and and cured. But in the midst of all this, what are we seeing? The government's taking over. They like the control. This is a control factor. What are they saying? What are they doing to us? Control. They're not saying go love your neighbor and help out. They're doing the opposite. They have to do what is right for um, uh, putting the National Guard where I live. Because people are going and they are really, really uh, taking others' gasoline. I know that this is very frightening, um, stealing others' food from their homes, breaking in. So where I am in the metro New York City area, we have a lot of calm people because we've been through 9-11. And that was a great horror but a lesson learned in how to care for each other but others are not the younger generation is sort of flipping out and the churches have got to come together or the the religious sector has got to open their mouth and say this is the way to come the red cross has to open their doors the food pantries have to open their doors and someone has to start speaking as we are and i do believe we are the the pioneers in speaking towards these younger people and middle-aged and elderly who are all at risk we don't know what the virus is but we need to bond together with love because that's what christ taught there was horror in depression but the people in the depression my grandfather he came over from Yugoslavia, the former Yugoslavia, now Croatia, as a nine-year-old child living on a beautiful island. And here he was in uh, New York City selling apples for five cents out of a basket. And those apples were just about rotten. And that's what he made his living on. And he was nine years old. And he grew up teaching us yeah and we're gonna we're gonna uh, how we have to do it they didn't crumble and rob each other and uh they, they took to towards each other in a harmonious loving way it was difficult but with harmony love and you've got in the picture and scripture to teach us and a little bit after example yeah, that was a very good example. At uh, 13 minutes into uh, this program, uh, we want to remind you that you're watching or, and you're listening to Intervision FM. Uh, this is Johnny J and uh, Cheryl Rose. And uh, we're just uh, 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 trying to be like a calming voice uh, and, and guiding you into a spiritual realm rather than uh, the this, this secular realm that we seem to be in. And uh, we're, we're going to... Um, play the song by reflection and then we'll be uh, right back uh, after this particular song here on Intervision <laughs> FM From this moment Life has begun From this moment You are the one Right beside you Is where I belong From
beautiful song. Beautiful. All right, we're, we're back, and um, you were you were telling that, that story about the, was your, your 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 grandfather. My grandfather, yes. Right. Yes, he he would he would be about 110 years old if he was still alive. And you said, years old. You said it came from. He came over on a boat. On a boat. Boat ride that took two two and a half weeks of uh, uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable ways of living you can on, imagine. A, on a boat and uh it's not a cruise ship but he got himself there with uh his father my great grandfather and they came to form a new life uh fight to get out of the communist country and they came into a great depression and they struggled but they made it because he used their wits but they they loved each other and one neighbor helped another neighbor. If there was somebody crying for hunger, they didn't have money, they were panicking, the banks closed, terrible things. There, there was nothing that he ever told us to scare us or make us frightened about what happened other than it was a, a terrible thing, frightening, but he managed. And I, I asked him, how did you sell those apples if they were kind of rotten? He says, I looked at it and I said, it's delicious, isn't it? And this one's for you. It's only five cents. And I smiled. People were so hungry, but my smile. And he taught me uh, as I was growing up, always smile. Because you make people happy when you, do, when you smile. And as I grew up in different activities that I did, uh, I smiled. I remember every day. If I smile over the phone, inner visions, you can hear me smile and see me smile because you can just feel the vibration of love. Yes, that apple was so rotten, but it was so good because he was selling it to a hungry person and it was just for him. And he made him his, his sorrowful life be an example of progressive loving life and he went on to college and he became an engineer now most and, most millennials uh, uh have had really experienced that a lot of us in this uh, uh in the united states have not re, uh experienced a time like that uh in the last what 20 40 50 even 60 years in in our republic and so mm -hmm. i want to just let you young people when when your teachers are are, are teaching you for uh, i guess weird reasons uh, about how great it is to be in a socialist country uh, uh well, remember people ran away from that to come to america now and why would we want to bring venezuela uh, to uh, America, as, as you see, that people are standing in lines and 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 you know this belly food uh, there, or, or, or in our cases, there are toilet paper there. But you you do not want to bring that socialist uh, reality to America. And maybe this will help you to look around and see this is just just a, a one percent just view of what it might be like because like I said none of you are starving and none of you are, are being uh, controlled by a dictatorial uh, um, re regime who's, who they're getting all the money and I, I, I just have to put this in there uh, a lot of the politicians that are making these choices of, of closing down restaurants and so forth especially in Colorado uh, they're going to still get their paycheck uh, they're saying you sacrifice mm -hmm. but we're going to live it nice and and easy because we're millionaires and we're living off of your money but you're going to sacrifice so um before we you know put our, our uh, eggs in the politicians basket think about that and and and, and put <laughs> put your faith in, in god rather than these, these politicians once again amen it's it's got to be god first if you don't put it up to god and i made a a broadcast uh, uh, over the weekend uh, every couple hours to talk about that. And the people can listen in. Um, as I, I introduce you and me, I said, give it up to God now. Even if you have to put your hands up and get on your knees and take the panic and he will take it from you. He will remove it if you ask him to. And your faith is 
so important. These politicians are not. They love power and control, but God loves you, and he's waiting for you to raise your hand up, kids, and say, God, take this from me. I'm afraid. I'm crying today. Take it from me. He will. He's going to bless you tenfold and get you to become strong as an army, the army of love. And this will pass. This situation will pass. The restaurants will open again. How dare they close restaurants and say 50 people only allowed. Or you have to pick up your paycheck and never come back because there's no work. The economy will suffer. And that restaurant owner, who's a self-employed man, has other people he has to pay that have families. What kind of a guilt trip are they putting on these people? And a lot of people don't I, uh, don't understand this as well because I just I found out this. Um, and Nancy Pelosi, was, the reason why it's taken long because uh, we're, we're recording this on, on St. Patrick's Day that it took so long to pass this bill. It went from the House to the Senate. It's because Nancy Pelosi wanted to put in a, a, a part saying. Uh, that the government was will start up again paying for abortions. Now that uh, oh. I don't know what that has to do with uh, Corona or whatever, uh, but they're trying to slip in uh, little things that don't even belong. This because yes. you know if if we can't read it, uh, and then of course they look at uh, at the the TV screen, uh, Chuck Schumer and Nancy, and they try to be so sincere, but there, there's things going on, and it's not because uh, they don't want to pass it um, is because uh, different people have special interests and they want to get that in. Um, th- <laughs> Cheryl, and this- I, I agree with you. It's terrible. And that's that's the sneaky part of politicians that it's a, du- a double-headed snake there. Uh, the two, Schumer and Pelosi and the power, you know, they, they love to be in, in control and why are we going into murder when we're supposed to be helping human lives right. prosper? Hey, we're, we're, we're at the, the end of our, our 29 minutes. It went so quickly. Um, Cheryl, uh, please give people uh, information on, on how they can, they, can, um, they can hear your YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, my phone number, direct call, 201-708-3841. My YouTube, Cheryl Rose, that's C-H-E-R-Y-L-R-O-S-E, Spirit Guidance. And you can see me there with the blonde hair, smiling, all the podcasts. And you can see Johnny and I have our podcast uh, of our radio uh, broadcast. And I'm also on Twitter. Just look up Cheryl Rose. They all have. CR and numbers after them that make no sense, but you can see my picture and follow along exactly with what's going on with YouTube and Johnny and I. And I, I this is it's gone so fast because there's so much to talk about and how how blessed we are able to do this um, because and- it's so needed. And I I, I look forward to more um, interaction here because. You have so much profound interest to bring to the forefront, and I, I agree with you. And I can, you know, just okay. send the message out today. Right. You need to talk to me. You are afraid. You have a problem. My number two zero one seven zero eight three eight four one. And the, I, the, the last yes, song we the last song we we have is uh, "Angels Among Us" by uh, Renewal. And uh, oh, we'll, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll see you the next time here on Intervision FM. And this is Johnny J. God bless. God bless. Cheryl Rose. At the age of 11, my destiny from heaven, you're there when I call to catch me if I fall.
among us. Isn't it fun to sing along to the radio? If you could help someone else have that same experience and take it to the next level, maybe you would consider donating an old car, RV, truck, or boat. You know, for over 15 years, Inner Vision has been helping the physically challenged and grassroots artists to create their music. Using music to heal the world is Inner Vision's gift to you, and you can help them to continue by donating your unwanted car, RV, truck, or boat. You'll also receive a tax deduction at the end of the year. Call us seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 1-855-500-7433. That's 1-855-500-7433. Charity ID 4015. Your unwanted car, RV, truck, or boat is tax deductible, and it can make a difference right here in Colorado. The artists at Intervision thank you for your support. Make that call. Toll free using Intervision's charity ID 4015. Again, the phone number 1-855-500-7433. 